Are we ready? Hey, hey, oh, the big edit. Here we go, boys. Hey, ho, hup. Sean Rock here with you folks. Cattle in the cane. I'm going to do that. My old buddy Richard. Right up there in Neely, Nebraska. Richard, that's for you, buddy. Cattle in the cane. We both worked them cattle. and He told me to do in the song. and I, I, I fouled that up pretty good, but I tried. Anyhow, howdy folks, howdy. Another day, another guitar. Uh, this today we have again for Dale Owen, Dale's Showstoppers on Reverb. See that description box. We're going to throw you up a couple of pictures while I talk, but if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, this is a pre war guitar company, 2020 HD, East Indian Adirondack. Just a wonderful instrument, wonderful instrument. And if you're interested in purchasing yourself a pre-war and you don't want to wait, I've, I'm not sure what the waiting list is now, but I've heard people say two, three years. Uh, so if you don't want to wait on one, uh, Dale's got one here. and I've, I've been challenged, a, a $5 challenge to my manhood, because you know I do imitations. And somebody asked me to imitate Dale Owen. So I'm going to do that later on in the video. Right now, let's check out this pre-war, all right? Let's try our old bluegrass rhythm here. Just real nice. instrument just just really nice feels very natural in the hand to me what else is she holding here Notice the trebles on this. We're going to look at the bass here in a second. Notice the trebles on this. One of my contentions, and I've, I've spoken of this briefly on other videos, with a uh, certain people, not all torrified guitars are created equal, in my opinion. Uh, and, and one of my great contentions is the trebles. There's a lot of torrified instruments that it seems like the treble gets really harsh on them. Now notice on this instrument. It's not that way. It's not that way. That's just a nice, there's a nice lushness. It's not the darkest trebles I've ever heard. I mean, if you're going for dark, dark 
trebles. Uh, but they're very round. They're very round to me. And the bass... balance, isn't it? So this is a very balanced Rosewood guitar. It doesn't get muddy. It doesn't get muddy on it. It's uh, it's guitar that you know. As long as I understand, there's there's people that uh, you know. I mean, two and five sixteenths gets feels a little bit wide to them. I understand that. And one three quarter neck maybe. Um, there's some people, you know, females or or the like, who have small hands, that uh, they can't really reach their entire abilities if something is too large on uh, on the spacing but these uh, man these are so comfortable to me they're just absolutely wonderfully comfortable if i can find my capo i'm going to get it out here i'll take it up to the key of a all right i've done bill monroe today uh, there you go i'll do that for kurt i've done richard and kurt here i've i've paid tribute to you fellas uh so uh who we got? Lester Flat. Hang on, Lester. Thank you so very much, and Heidi. Dale Owen still to come. Key of A here. striker that hard but it, this thing's got range does it not have range 
These these are great. All right, Dale Owen. We're moving up to B flat. Dale Owen, you know I love you, and uh, the greatest form of of flattery is imitation. Dale called me up. He says, "I'm gonna tell you something right now. On them pre-war guitars, you get that thing in. You better make sure." Before you take a video of it, let me put an ad up. You better make sure you ain't wanting to buy it. I got a Brazilian over here. I don't care if I ever get rid of this guitar or not now, I'm telling you. Now, that's big words from Dale Owen. We've done a 42 and a 44 uh, D18. We did a 44 uh, Banner with Adirondack. Um, we did some, like, what, three Ed Jimmy Ed Edmonds guitars this week. Huge bunch of of instruments so when a man talks like that about a pre-war uh, i assume that he really means what he's saying he registered the warranty he never registered a warranty on a guitar in his life b flat Got it done. I ain't got it, but it's got it. <laughs> Kia B for the Bluegrassers. We'll run a couple more frets here and then we'll talk about the specs a little bit. Look at there. Look at me. I don't even have that junk capo on today. Ain't got good. Man spent $185 and still destroyed himself. favorite here. But I really want you to know, you know, all I'm doing is playing the guitar, trying to trying to assimilate to you what what it sounds like and what what damage I can do with a capo, things like that. Thank you. 
how much that warms up up there. That's, that's nice, nice. Good job them boys is doing over there in uh, North Carolina. Pre-war guitar company right there. Okay, so what we got is a 2020 pre-war HD uh, herringbone, obviously, <laughs> HD. Adirondack uh, red spruce top, torified, bracings torified. Herringbone, obviously, your ivroid appointments there. East Indian back and sides. This is the kind of the standard affair for them. There's the back. The other side. Uh, two and five sixteenths on the bridge. That's a bone saddle with uh, through, you know, old, old belly saddle. Got a big belly just like me. Uh, the ivroid uh, pins in there. Not sure of the manufacturer of those. Bone nut, of course, ebony fingerboard with your 28 style inlay. Uh, that's their standard nickel frets. You got that vintage style nut, you know, the way that slopes. That's good. That's nice. That's pretty the way they do that. Uh, good job on the headstock. A lot of people miss, uh, do some big time misses. Uh, on volutes or if they're actually going the the actual ears of a headstock the way those are cut away there the way that's pulled out of there a lot of people blunt that off and ain't nothing wrong with that if that's how you want to design your guitar but if you're doing a reproduction you know I don't know are you are you trying to be completely accurate or not I guess that's the question but uh, open back uh, go toes Goto's on this, and of course you got the pre-war guitar company stamp on the back of the headstock, and then uh, you got the, just an overlay there on the front, blank face. Uh, these necks, uh, they call them a C to a V, and uh, they're nice. I like them, man. I like them. I can move around on them. It's it's yet early here. I I just picked up this thing. Made sure it was in tune and went to play in, which ain't the best idea. I've got to pop my thumbs again. Uh, ain't the best idea in the world. Uh, you're going to make mistakes. But, uh, you know, if the if the neck or the string spacing or something was very odd to me, I would have a whole lot more mistakes than normal. Uh, and I'd say I'm rolling about normal. So it's a pretty, pretty good day. Uh, the the uh, Another thing I want to mention, the fingerboard edges. They, uh, I was talking to... Mark Cress last night. Hey, Mark. And we was talking about how they roll these. Um, and I've, I've given, this is so comfortable to slide your hand up and down. These are, these are rolled um, to, a, to a great, great amount. They're rolled. Just the whole edge of the fingerboard is rolled real nice. Um, and, you know, that's, that's so nice. It, it just feels so good in the, in the joints of your fingers when you're sliding up and down the neck. Um, I forget where I was going with that, but I wanted you to know that. I definitely wanted you to know that these, these are comfortable. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's where I was going. We, we were debating between us, Mark and I, if, if, they had, if pre-war had always rolled them to this extent. And if my memory, which is faulty, uh, but if it serves, it seems like they, they were not quite rolled to this extent before. Uh, and I, I will be honest with you, I've been critical of, of pre-war back in kind of the earlier days. I was like, oh yeah, here we go, another recreation. Oh, here we go, more 37. But man, I mean, they're, they are doing a wonderful job. It's, it's a it's a testament their waiting list is a, a testament of of what they are doing you know i mean all these people are not wrong uh these are good sounding good playing guitars they 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 play excellent they sound good right out of the box and uh, this is this is a great value in an instrument i think um yeah, I, frankly, I'm kind of surprised they haven't went up 
in price more than they have. Um, this is a level 1.5 on the distressing too, by the way. I mean, you can, uh, this is, I'm, I, I don't think, even though it's pre-owned, I don't think anything was ever put on it, any mark was put on it that wasn't put on by the factory in the 1.5. Uh, it's not had a strap button on it either. Uh, let's, let's go talk to Bert. Bert! Awesome instrument. I think somebody will be really, really happy with this. Again, this is a 2020 pre-war guitar company, HD 1.5 uh, Adirondack and uh, East Indian, one and three quarter on the nut, two and five sixteenths on the bridge spacing. And see that description box. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd certainly appreciate it. And if you want to purchase this and you don't want to wait a few years, a few years is a long time. It ain't forever, but it's a long time. Uh, then you can see that description box. Get a hold of Dale Owen. Tell him I'm over here imitating him. And you want a $5 discount. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm.